So hey guys and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernautus, and today we are playing... I've just realised... Yeah, there we go. Um, today we're playing Thunderblade on the Sega Master System. Uh, this was released in 1987 in the arcades, I believe... Um, that it was released later, but I can't remember the exact time, I'm trying to think. The, the port of that was a bit later... But it tied in a bit with um, with what was intended, which was, I believe it was to tie in with the film Blue Thunder in terms of its popularity at the time. Um, yeah, so it was a 1987 arcade game by Sega, for Sega, and we're playing it with Infinite Lives. Um, I had to play a little test of this just to see, uh, obviously, how it, how it played. And to make sure that the cheats actually worked, because that's kind of an important thing. You know, sometimes we'll do it. Now, I thought as well, when we die here, does this send me back to the beginning of the level? But it doesn't. It continues from where we were. And if you die all the time, it's quite frustrating. Got bombs to blow up the tanks. Or you could just stay away from them. Bomb, and another one. And then you've got that helicopter that I can't avoid. Oh. I got killed by something. I must have got hit by that helicopter on the way past. But we do still reach the end of the level by doing this. Um, so yeah, what can we say about this? Well, it's not as good as the arcade version of the game, I think, generally speaking. As you'll often find was the case with some of these early arcade ports, you know, especially the, the sort of 8-bit systems, weren't great for carrying over the quality of the arcade. Um, with this as well, obviously it comes into kind of a third-person view. Uh, as well as your, I mean, they're all third-person views, but this is a, obviously more of an overhead view. Before, where now it's a, a rear view. The tanks here are really annoying. And there are sections in this level where you'll have tanks lining the road and filling the screen with shots, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. few planes, fighter jets, like a helicopter like this would really stand against fighter jets if they were, you know, piloted by anyone competent. Then you've got to avoid, because the trouble is fighting, the, fighting both things at once is pretty difficult. Uh, your bombs will find their way to the ground. But yeah, it takes a bit of it takes a bit of timing to try and make sure that you've got them kind of lined up just right, which you'll probably find you don't. Just do that. Stay away from them. You don't have to kill them. Obviously, for a better score, you might want to. And if you stay in the corner like that for too long, you'll end up getting killed by them. But you know, in the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. When you've got infinite lives turned on. Some other kind of uh, fighter jets. Luckily only using their cannons instead of locking onto me with some kind of missiles. And yeah, this is, this is the kind of game where I'm going to be dying a lot. So prepare for that. As if you're not already prepared for that for watching every other time I do this. Kind of game. <laughs> that is a pretty common, uh, a pretty common thing to happen. I managed to blow up one tank before they absolutely annihilated me. 
Believe it or not, though, we will eventually make it to the next level. <laughs> I wonder if you can believe that. As long as we're quick. As long as our death is over quickly. Then it's not a major issue. We did it. And then we just shot straight up in the air. This is quite an easy, what I assume is supposed to be a boss fight. Excuse me. Oh, we have to do the whole fight again, though. See, this one's a bit more difficult, because if you die, you have to do the whole boss fight again. Last time I did this, I did it in the first shot. I shouldn't have done that, because the more of those there are, the harder it's going to be to fight them. That's the fight. Very straightforward. Finish stage one. Move on to stage two. You know how it works by now. I missed him again. And blowing up that thing didn't help me. <laughs> it's always annoying as well, you know, these one-hit deaths, at least most of the enemies die in one hit as well, but but now and again there's a few that don't and obviously that's quite annoying missed that last tank Missed it. Not that it mattered because I wasn't going to survive that crash anyway. I should not play these kinds of games. <laughs> I'm just not prepared for, you know, positionally for where everything's going to be. But then, are you ever? I think this stage is complete. Or this part of this stage is complete, anyway. Oh, it looks like something out of, um... Space Harrier. <laughs> something relatively difficult out of Space Harrier, too. You know, where the difference is this time, I won't trip over if I run into any of the pillars, I will instead die. And I don't even know if I'm actually going to reach the end of this stage. <laughs> Tanks. At least I know I'm out. There was like no enemies for so long that I assumed we were, we were okay. First time I've been killed by those fighter jets. Stay away from me! I have fighter jets. I can't even hit them. And they just wipe me out. We're okay. Another tunnel area that I'm going to immediately wipe out in. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 oh. Almost. Almost made it through relatively unscathed. Oh! 
Thank you very much. I never, I never claimed I was uh, going to be <laughs> great at this game, did I? Oh, don't hit the wall! Positioning yourself for that is a bit, is not easy. You know, because you're... You can't, you don't know where the pillars are going to be. That's uh, thinning out. Oh! Helicopters. After all those times when it was tanks, it's helicopters. And I wasn't prepared. It's just as well that the goal is really just to reach the end, isn't it? Wow. That's far too many planes. I, I don't think there's been a time that I've entered one of these tunnel sections where I've actually survived the entry. <laughs> it's just as well that... Oh my god. It's just as well that I'm not overly concerned about hitting walls. That's really annoying. I don't think it's responsive enough to get me through there. No! Oh. You spend too much time, you know, you spend so much time relying on how to get out of that, that fighting things is just barely even possible. And the boss fights are what are going to be a problem for me, probably. You know, because... Although all you really need to do with the boss fights is just stay out of the way of the shots and then destroy the last part of it. Apparently that was enough to destroy it. I don't know why. It worked though. Stage two end. Please don't have me going through tunnels again anytime soon because that was really annoying. It's all about lining yourself up for those shots on the ships. Which is easier said than done when you've got like helicopters bombarding you. You're trying to find yourself a position you can get into to, to take out the ships and the helicopters. Death again. I wonder how many stages there are in this game. Okay, okay. Mm. Did you ever get the feeling you just shouldn't play a game? <laughs> hey, at least I don't have to fight those ships anymore. <laughs> that is one advantage. When you die, you just wipe out whatever you're fighting. And move on. Oh, some sort of temple in the distance. Avoided those boats. Where's this supposed to be? The Amazon? Or Asia somewhere. Like Thailand or something. They just flop round in a circle like that, and that solves the problem. 
Okay, we're not going to reach. It's the end of this level that we reach that temple. And then we have to fly through it. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Is it getting any closer? There was no chance. There was no chance. Hmm. There's just no way. Just no way. After this, we'll try and please. We'll, we'll probably do something else on another video that's not quite as frustrating. The trouble is, you're playing a Sega Master System game. There's not a lot of them that aren't frustrating, to be honest. Too many. See, see when they just put a line of these and they're constantly just bombing you. It's impossible to. I don't know how anyone that can survive these fights without be dying and get to the end of this game. Wow. Well done. Because it certainly isn't me. Are we shooting up in the air yet? I was getting to grips with that a bit more there. <laughs> right. Okay. i got to tell myself these things, you know. Because what's really happening is a disaster. How many stages of this are there? I mean, we're getting through it, but what if we get to a boss that we can't defeat? try a million times to kill a boss and never do it, you know. That's not good. This is not good, uh, I don't think. I'm not even... I was pressing the wrong buttons on my controller. I wasn't even moving. Okay, okay, we're okay. We're okay. How many stages do we have? That's the question. If I just do this, I can mostly avoid them. And there we go. As long as I keep moving, it's not so bad. Because if I don't keep moving, I die very easily. I didn't even that didn't even shoot me the first time we did this level. This is going to be impossible, isn't it? For someone that's terrible at this game. Whether they've got infinite lives or not. There we go. I'm not even sure that shooting at it makes any difference to anything. I think it just dies when you buy it, when you when you go past it.
I need to not fly directly above these tanks. You learn lessons that help you get past some of these things as you're doing it, is the main thing. I don't know how many stages there are, though. I want to find out before... Oh, what happened there? I think this might be the last one, actually. Just from checking something, I think this might be the last stage. So let's see if we can't uh, succeed at this. Let's see if we can finish the game. As I think this, the next boss is the last boss. The tanks that are kind of square onto us are a little more difficult to hit, I find. And you can do it, but it's it's not not simple. I think this is the end of the level. See, it doesn't look like you actually have to kill everything. Just stay away and you'll be okay. Oh, there's br low bridges here that we have to stay away from. I'm just wondering if I can get through this level without even shooting anything. If I just pay attention to avoiding everything instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. That's hilarious. I'm guessing it's going to be mostly ground enemies here because there's no way any flying enemies can possibly succeed here. Jeez! I shouldn't have gone low. I should have stayed high. I should have stayed high. And then I died when I stayed high, so. Just stay away, just stay away. Ah. It's like an obstacle course of pipes. I'm not even sure I could hit any of them even if I even if I was trying to. Okay, so when they're high. When they're high up, it's ground targets. When they're low down, it's air targets. It seems like the best way to look at it. It's about mid-screen, so we're probably going low again. Or not. <laughs> Or not. Seems to just be going wherever the hell it wants us to go. Oh my... It comes up out of nowhere as well. It just pops in. Because you can see one in the distance, but it's not the one you're waiting for. Right. Low. Low. Yeah. Seems like it's going to mix and match a bit now. Ho, ho, ho. I watched somebody finish this in about 15 minutes. Uh, obviously, they, they, um, they didn't die as much as I did. And actually had some idea how to deal with the patterns. It pops up from nowhere and you're, you're halfway through doing something and... 
what I need to do is try and pass as close to these things as possible. We're not going to have to fight anything while we're doing that. We are. There were helicopters coming through this while we were trying to steer our way through all these pipes. I mean, that's, that's actually torture. I, I spend so much time focusing on trying to get through these pipes that fighting enemies at the same time is just futile, to be honest. Okay, okay, well... What can we say? This was definitely a popular game at the uh, it's in its time. Maybe for its uh, fiendish difficulty. Maybe that's part of the reason. People always want a... Uh, it's, it's more about reflexes, you know? And reacting to what's going on on the screen like lightning fast. I mean, that's the that's the thing that kind of sets you apart. As if you can react really quickly to what's going on. I can't, obviously. <laughs> I can react to one thing, but not not to both that and the the attacks. Like I was starting to get a bit grips with moving and ducking and diving between the pipes there but ultimately there's always going to be something coming along that's going to make you suddenly wish you hadn't been steering between the pipes at this stage I'm kind of choosing between either steering through the pipes or shooting the enemies and if I don't if I've got unlimited lives I may as well just avoid them and try and stay away from the pipes Dying repeatedly is okay, but I mean, you've got like a, what, 20 second, 15 second freeze between dying and coming back to life. Which makes things a bit more difficult. At this stage, I just want out of this level, to be quite honest. getting very frustrated by doing this level so the quicker you can get me the heck out of here the better can't I should have kept going up right thank goodness for that but oh my god oh my god are we going to get past this boss I don't think we are Or are we going to be able to hit anything on this boss more than that, more importantly? I'm just going to say, I don't think I can do this. It's all well and good having infinite lives, but you have to start this over every time. Like, every time you have to start this over. I don't appear to be hitting anything either. It's just me. I don't appear to be hitting anything. Oh, I hit something. Made a noise. Not sure what it was, but I hit something. one time <laughs> the only thing I can do is just keep moving I've hit something again but yeah, do you know what At this stage, I think there's nothing I can do about that fight. 
I think it's pretty clear that, yeah, the infinite lives will get you where you need to go, ultimately, in the end, as long as you can get past stuff. That fight, I don't even know how I'm supposed to win that, to be honest. Because it resets it every time after you've, uh, after you've done it, so there's no way for me to get past that, because I'm just not... Uh, not good enough with infinite lives or not. So there you go. Infinite lives worked. They got me where I needed to go. They got me to the end of the game. But ultimately, if you don't, if you haven't got the reflexes or the ability to do this, they really don't help. And that's that's kind of one of the one of the points of why why I do this a lot is to show that yeah, in some cases they they get you right through without any problems. In this case, it really doesn't help. So anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me get uh, absolutely obliterated by helicopters and tanks and all sorts of things repeatedly. But that's it for that one. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription. And we'll play something else. You'll probably see another video come up today as well from another Master System game, but not this one. Thanks very much. See you later.